and you will okay oh, on on scary ammi right now yes yay i'm yay. so excited i haven't done this before at all um on scary ammi so we really need to like up our technology game <laughs> But I'm so glad to have you online, Rabia. It's been like ages, ages since I last spoke to you and met you. Since you were, थोड़ी देर के लिए you were in Karachi, so yes. Sorry, sorry, I just disappeared. So tell me, Rabia, about um. So you run a group called Special Needs Pakistan, and you have Alia who has a birth syndrome, and I've been following this story. So for special needs children. the complete absence of routine as they knew it and a life that you'd built for them it must be really hard yeah you know the thing is ke uh, alia came into uh, uh, the world in 2013 uh, long long time ago now 7 years we were back age as <laughs> rana you know yes. uh, you and i were pregnant at the same time yes. our older sons were going to the same schools and we were both expecting daughters so yeah. when i read alia's story i was like allah dolls out what he wants to when he yeah. wants and i still remember and i still remember you crying also yes so, um so yeah it, uh, bahut uh, bahut uh, interesting uh, bahut interesting journey rahi hai because uh, you know at that point in time in 2013 there there were no support groups there was no support now yeah. uh i mean i was shuttling in the in in the hospitals and i was constantly told that um i was constantly told that you know oh well just take her home and take care of her um and i was connected to so many people around the world you know who said no do this do this uh, look for a speech therapist uh, i said that well, she's like 4 days old and there was so much information ke you know it made me realize where are we on the map why don't why don't we have a a mass support group guiding mothers guiding families of uh, specially abled uh, you know parents and children and siblings ke kya karna hai kis tarah is chaos ke through navigate karna hai and um, and so all i started doing uh, aisha in 2013 january was i started blogging and i started sharing my day to day stories with alia the difficulty of a hospital and and mind you i'm speaking from a very privileged point yes, of view yes um so when i started meeting people in the hospital in rehabilitation centers and uh, in different places where you know there were people coming from mangopir who said oh aapke paas internet bhi hai and i was like oh my god aap mangopir se aati hain do din ke liye sirf and phir apne bacche ki therapy karati so give your child a chance because your your you as a mother or you as a father are your child's only advocate and are your child's best advocate no matter aap kitne therapists kitne doctors ke paas le jao lekin aap us bacche ke sath 24 ghante guzarte ho ek din ke andar so that is when i created a special needs pakistan as a platform uh, a closed platform not a not an open platform but a closed platform uh, on facebook jiske through i could network with everybody and anybody uh, whether aap ek uh, special needs related family hai ya aap ek regular family hai um when i know we had this conversation long time back ke it's not a group just for special needs families it's a group to educate and raise awareness in our country ke we are as uh, the same part of the society as other families and other people are because these individuals also have needs they uh, boost our economies they promote so many things kindness compassion tolerance jo hamare andar nahi aayega agar hum ek inclusive society nahi honge yes absolutely so how is alia doing now she must be 7 she is 7 yes she's same age as rania how is she doing now how is the journey of i know you've traveled the globe getting her surgeries therapies i think she's gone through like 10 12 surgeries and so, i know that you hunted out yeah. like the best surgeons in the world so how is she doing now um 
so yeah uh, alia has gone through a uh, uh, whole of 13 surgeries uh, before her uh, sixth birthday she had had 13 surgeries and uh, uh, ek point pe doctors ne bola tha ye baith nahi sakegi then she started sitting uh, then they said ke oh she might not be able to walk so be ready for that that she started walking because there was so much of effort um, Uh, you know put into everything everything a uh, family effort and it was it was really really like uh, a joint uh, group effort for alia the entire village had come together uh, right now uh, currently under the lockdown so it's it's a different scenario because she is she's so used to going to the park going for her therapies uh, meeting people uski jo social skills hain they are over the roof so uh being under lockdown has been difficult for her uh lekin i cannot complain because she is uh, a child who is so resilient no matter jitne pain mein ho no matter uh, jitni uh, pareshani mein wo ho she's always smiling so i have no reason to complain yeah no that's amazing i know alia's story has been super a uh, super inspiring is she able to talk now is she able to like express yes, her she is still non verbal uh, but over the years through a lot of therapies um, she started to point uh, you see the thing is that the with not just in specific to her but these kids are so uh, independently uh, functional you know if you make them and if you really put in the effort so she really doesn't want anybody's help to do anything she'll grab the water herself she'll uh, ask for biscuits herself um so uh, and she has that pride you know bahut sari pride bhi hai uske sath involved so that is her personal nature um but in terms of uh, being um, talking she still goes for speech therapy she's still non verbal and we are still hoping ke one day some voice comes through yeah so when you mentioned that there was an entire village that helped you who was part of your village like what was your who did your village comprise of you know uh, so for me jab alia peda hui thi to i i narrate this story all the time because it 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 is a very powerful story for me my mother is my emotional uh, and my titanium support lekin jab alia peda hui thi i still remember her standing uh, at the edge of the hospital uh, uh, room and uh, telling my gynecologist ke ye meri beti kis tarah karegi you know ye kis tarah is bacche ko raise karegi kya karegi ye is is itni himmat kahan se aayegi and i i really felt you know i really felt so tiny at that point in time ke this person who i look up to so much and i've gained all my strength from her is actually uh, you know um, questioning ke kya ye meri beti kar payegi and uh, so that was one moment you know i remember ke it had been only a couple of hours for the c section and i told my sister get me on a wheelchair mujhe uh, nicu me leke jao taki main baby ko dekh sakun ke what has happened hua kya hai because at that point in time i hadn't seen the baby and second of all you know uh, because there were no uh, you know medical issues so we were uh, released from the hospital and when we came back home i asked my husband i said ke shail you know tell me something ke uh, how how do you want to i'm very i'm very clear i mean it is what it is so but you know you are the father and i need to ask you how do you want to take this forward uh, how do you want to talk to people and how, what do you want to say and uh, you know he didn't even take a second uh, to uh, respond to me and he said rabia we will tell it how it is and i think that was a really turning point in my life where uh, there was so much of silent support from my spouse uh, where he never negated or never said ke this has to be done or that has to be done uh, i think the reason why i became the forefront pillar is because jo mere back end driving force thi was this silent uh, really really you know calm and reserved human being who said well this is your field so play the game how you want to play it and i think that really really set the tone and mood for me yeah but in alia's case you did not know till she was born even though on ultrasound these defects can be picked up yeah 
Yes. Um, so basically, in 2013, so my uh, I I'm a very you know by the book mother. I had my uh, all my ultrasounds done on time. But Apert syndrome is very unique because in Apert syndrome, what happens is that even in the ultrasounds, the you can miss uh, the signs. So it wasn't until um, uh, the 38th week, ka jo mera jo. Uh, ultrasound tha, uske andar, there was some facial embossing which means that the face does not come in with clarity uh, ultrasound mein. and that is for the first time when the sonologist said wait there's a red flag we need to do you know multiple scans for this and I still remember oh, then uh, I'm like you know 38th week you mein, yeah you're almost there you're there, fact, you're you're there. there. You're all done yeah and uh, and it was very 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 stressful for me because that one day and i can never forget that day it was uh, the 24th of december agle din chutti hone wali thi and um, you know uh, that that entire day was spent in so much dilemma ke now what is going to happen and uh, and the gynecologist told me ke uh, listen so that we don't know what it is we know ke there is some kind of uh, um water around her brain but we don't know what other what we are expecting so we need to move you to a better facility where there is going to be a fully uh, you know equipped uh, NICU and uh, let's take it on from there so and, and I had put all my faith into the gynecologist and we worked as a team and I think um Okay, in Apert syndrome too particular, ye nahi aata in your ultrasounds. However, um, you know, now there's, uh, there was at that point also, there was harmony and there was uh, yeah. amniocentesis. You got harmony done. I got harmony done for all four kids. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's also like, um, um, or mere husband cousins nahi hai. we're not family members or, you know, we're not uh, connected uh, uh, through uh, uh, blood lineage at all. So it never, it was never a factor to uh, think about. Yeah. So on in your 38th week, you found out, but you actually found out when she was born. I actually found out when she was born, she was born with Apert syndrome because uh, when she was, uh, I, we went into an emergency C-section in my 39th week because we gave her one extra week for lung development. And uh, 39th week, May, I had my C-section. And uh, when she was born, I was told that, um, so there's a, a little bit of an issue with the baby. And I still remember I just got an out of anesthesia. So I said, well, what is the issue? Um, and they showed uh, the gynecologist said, listen, she's breathing fine. Everything is fine. It's just that she has no fingers. They're, they're rosebuds and her feet are webbed. And, um, and I was like, in my, you know, in my state, I was like, well, uh, is, is that all? Because I mean, you know, I mean, I, 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 I need some time to process this. And she said, uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much. So, so I guess it was also being under drugs that uh, that made me like accept it at a little calm pace. Uh, however, it was it was it was a lot to take in on and uh, process on in the first few hours of birth. Yeah. yeah. So after now, I know that you're very positive. You talk a lot about what Isla's taught you and the great positive impact she's had on you in the community. But initially, did you go through a period of depression? Initially, was it hard to accept that this had happened to you? Were there moments when you were like, why me? Why did this happen to me? Yeah, so, so I think... Uh, um, understanding grief and understanding um, anything which has happened that's okay thanks thanks uh, anything which you know happens um, which takes you by surprise right and uh, and a birth of a child is uh, something that you really look forward to it's a really beautiful moment in your life and uh, so my first born at that point was uh, three years old and uh, it's, it's a baby girl I mean I was over the moon um, so it is it is that celebration time of celebration and time of love and fulfillment but um, 
to answer your question about why me yes i went i had gone through severe baby blues for my first one so i was already prepared for you know uh, a depressive phase for my second born um and go through those baby blues uh, with the help of uh, you know traumatizing my husband and my family constantly for a month at least um but for alia because there was so much to take care of in terms of take charge of medically and um you know okay sari cheeze routine mein ho jaye sab kuch check ho jaye because at still you know 7 years ago uh, there was no networking happening between the doctors and in alia's case uh, you know i'm very proud to admit that Uh, i had an entire team of doctors who came together and and you know i raised up a lot of concerns and i said that well why isn't there a team why aren't we working as a as a group effort what is this arrogance you know why why do i have to run from pillar to post from one doctor to another why cannot we uh, address this child as a community and so um that why me wala phase na uh, really got um, looked after through my um through my blogging so while i was blogging it was really being taken care of i think it was very therapeutic it was my online journal so while i was talking about it mai roti bhi thi mai hasti bhi thi log bhi saath mere rote the so you know while i used to be sharing my day to day stories ke aaj ye hua aaj ye hua you know i used to get messages on facebook ke aaj hum bada roye and you know there used to be times when i used to say aaj mai bhi bada royi hu so yes it was all a part and parcel uh, however because there was no time for me to actually um, think about it at that point in time uh, because there was so much else to do yeah and then um, you just had another baby right like how old is your third you turned three oh so not just but was it hard it feels like just sorry it, it feels like just, just. So was it hard to plan another baby was it a planned pregnancy were you more cautious this time how did alia's experience affect your next pregnancy so um you know i have no uh, shame in admitting that this was a blooper i had hmm. no i had no 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 um planning involved in this because uh, i I had thought of another baby but I hadn't thought of a baby in 2016 and when I found out that I you know I I I again uh, January is a very tricky month for me because it's my birth month and I had Alia in January and oh. then I fell sick in 2016 Jan I fell really sick and no doctor could understand what is going on I uh, and I had lost a lot of weight and and then um came that one vomit which was <laughs> in january oh that that yogurty vomit which de- deciphers uh and and you know puts all the other vomits aside and i was completely completely bewildered and i came out and i told my husband you know <laughs> what the hell ye kya ho raha hai uh so um no uh elena who's my third born a girl she was not a planned baby like and i found out that i was expecting her when i was almost 8 weeks pregnant and i could not breathe since the day i found out that i was 8 weeks pregnant it took me a whole month to actually confront my mother and tell her ke i'm expecting why because i was so nervous we were so involved you know in uh, in alia's well being and alia's care and alia 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 ke you know kuch wo socha hi nahi tha ki ye ho sakta hai to when 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 i told her uh, and we told everybody else also when i was 3 months pregnant um, i was like oh my god you know what is this what are we going to do and it was no i spent 7 months in agony um and so much anxiety and i had to keep the anxiety at bay because um you know ye pata tha ki ek differently able baby hua hai special needs baby hai ghar mein and now what 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 all i need to take into stride and consideration to be able to have this 
to know okay is is there anything wrong and even though i had my harmony testing and i had all my tests they can with that that amnio with uh with your third one did you go for an amnio also no i just had the harmony because uh, uh they i and i had it done in uh, in in the uae so um we had a, a little bit of a blood work and uh, a lot of these um, uh, genome testing because alia ke waqt pe we had had her genetic testing done so uh, in terms of matching we had already been told that you know the baby is healthy and the baby is fine so it was it was a uh, very very strong faith and uh, jitri seven months that i spent kyunki do mahine to pata hi nahi tha yeah i'm sure but tell me so under lockdown right like on scary ammi which is a community for mothers like all kinds of ammis we have special need uh, we have mothers of special need children there but it's more a general community of mothers so everyone's been talking about how lockdown is hard it's hard for mothers it's hard for children but you know like i was reading something on your group and i was thinking it must be so much harder for you guys because i feel that with special needs children routine is everything like having them on a timetable having them in a routine like i've heard that that gives them a sense of structure a sense of you know a sense of regularity it's easier for them to process information suddenly for all those children in one minute that routine's been thrown out of the window how is it like how are you managing with three children one of them with different needs so you know what we've been actually discussing is that um dekhe right now i mean lockdown is uh, a thing jo kisi ke hath mein nahi right uh, we are facing uh, whatever we are facing not because it's been it's been generated by our doing it's a thing which is not in our control so right now why not enjoy the moment you know so consider this time this lockdown time yes it's hard it's very hard because you want your 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 uh, you want your uh, husband to go to work you don't want him at home you want to go to work or if you don't work you want to settle at home you want to send the children to school and there are so many things that rotate uh, revolve around our daily routine lekin hum log agar ye soche ke um ek bachcha hai jiski sensory needs hai usko itna zaruri hai ke wo sham mein park jaye ya sham mein garden mein jaye ya sham mein khuli fiza mein jaye ya uh, they, they they need that therapies ya they need that uh, you know that stimulation um so for for all mothers i'd say not just for different abled mothers but for all mothers it has been difficult because to explain to a child kya bahe kyun nahi ja sakte to explain to somebody ke why are we not working as uh, we do uh, in a routine or as we do regularly so it has been tough on all fronts and especially for mothers because it is more work you are picking up after your children after every little thing aapka kaam tenfold ho gaya lekin आपको हर चीज पे यू डोंट हैव टू उथ्रो फाय एज अ परफेक्ट देर इज नो सच थिंग एज परफेक्ट अगर अगर आप थक गए हो एंड घर बिखरा हुआ है बिखरा रहने दो कोई बात नहीं एज लॉन्ग एज योर हाउस इज क्लीन इट्स ओके एज लॉन्ग एज योर किड्स आर फेड इट्स ओके इट्स ओके इफ दे हैव गॉटन अ लिटिल बिट मोर स्क्रीन टाइम इट्स ओके बिकॉज ये आपके हाथ में नहीं आपके बस में नहीं है तो इसीलिए यू नो वेन वेन मदर स्टार्टेड से ओफ आई कॉन्ट वेट फॉर द किड्स टू गेट आउट ऑफ द हाउस एंड गो बैक टू देर रूटीन आई सेट यू नो वट राइट नाउ इट इज सो इम्पोर्टेंट बिकॉज ये हमारे लिए we don't have to worry about anything we don't have to worry about tests we don't really have to worry about mm-hmm. us being at work us missing milestones us missing things that our kids are doing so and this is going to pass over ye bahut jald pass over kar jayega and then we'll be back to our crazy uh, rat race grind so why not enjoy it so is that what you doing are you spending this time enjoying at home what yes. are you doing nowadays are you making the children stick to a routine are they doing google classrooms or are you just chilling out we are doing a mix so my older one has apni classes uski jo schedule hota hai in terms of his uh, online classes whether it's guitar lessons or whether it's his schooling uh, they have their um, schooling of class 5 going on as per schedule um, and assignments and etc so that is that the 3 year old um, 
वॉज इट वॉज टफ टू एक्सप्लेन टू हर करोना वायरस क्या होती है एंड क्या है सब कुछ बट शी टुक इट ऑन फाइन एंड शी इज रियली एंजॉय बींग बींग अराउंड हर फादर एंड बींग अराउंड मी आई डोंट नो वेदर नॉट सो मच बिकॉज उसको थोड़ा सा डिसीजन करना पड़ता है आलिया आई थिंक इज जस्ट यू नो शी इज हर सेल्फ शी इज हैड अ बिट ऑफ अ प्रॉब्लम इन टर्म्स ऑफ हर रूटीन नॉट बींग स्ट्रक्चर्ड लाइक यू सेट बिकॉज शी इज यू नो वेरी वेरी एडिक्टेड टू हर रूटीन so uh, um, but you know each day is a different day so one day we are baking ek then we are putting out the pool uh, my husband has been giving me eyes because beech mein thoda sa mausam you know kharab ho gaya tha and i didn't want the kids to fall sick but now it's going to be all water play and my kids have been uh, painting my gamlas outside so we've been i've been giving them all kinds of household chores that's my new yeah. thing i want them to learn how to make the beds i want him to clean up dust and That's usually it. usually that dusting causes me more of a heartache because wo kuch aur zyada aur zyada gande ho jate hain but you know it, it is what it is they're doing yeah. something absolutely and rabia so you know with alia alia must take up like most of your time and most of your effort do you ever feel like your mothering to the other two children is affected or you not maybe the kind of mother to them that you could have been if you didn't have a child who needs so much extra like how do you balance um so that's a that's a, that's a very good question aisha and um, um again this takes me back uh, 7 years ago because there was a time when i was told ke dekho isko to abhi kuch samajh mein bhi nahi aa raha to tum apne bete ko zyada tawajjo do jisko jisko sab cheezon ki samajh hai and for me uh, you know that was the first day when i said listen if alia is getting 3 hours he will also get 3 hours and that is what we are going to do uh, so i am going to decide my own parenting journey myself um and i also told my husband ke dekho i want my uh, parenting journey to be my own construction and you can do yours uh, as a father and then there are some things jo hum log as as a couple you know we we come on the same terms as a couple um so in terms of that yes there have been times when i've had to give her more um, uh, more time and more energy when she's had her surgeries or when she's been critically ill um when she has her therapies so that does take a uh, uh, time out of my routine but i think that i do try ke agar alia ke sath ek ghanta guzra hai to दो घंटे दूसरे बच्चे दोनों के साथ भी गुजरे सो आई हैव ऑलवेज ट्राई टू कीप अ बैलेंस एंड लाइक आई सेड के व्हेन देयर आर टाइम्स लाइक यू नो सर्जरीज एंड इंपॉर्टेंट टाइम्स व्हिच कांट बी लुक्ड द अदर वे आई हैव मेड अदर अरेंजमेंट्स फॉर द अदर टू चिल्ड्रन सो दैट दे डोंट फील नेग्लेक्टेड बट व्हाट अबाउट यू डू यू फील यू आर नेग्लेक्टेड इन man in wanting to give so much time to your children do you feel you get sidelined like do you did you want to go back to a career that you haven't been able to go back to how has your life journey changed so um i would say that yes uh, a lot of uh, in like a lot of aspirations did come to a halt uh, when alia came in because it required uh two to three years of her initial uh, birth for me to be very very attentive you know and like i said i hadn't planned another pregnancy um so between alia and the other one there's almost a three and a half year old uh, three and a half years ka gap and when i thought that i was actually you know getting to that point when i'm going to start doing something for myself the third one came along and i have been a at home mom which means that i have I, you know by choice i wanted to stay at home with my babies um and give them my time but i think they suck more uh, blood out of me by multiplying so fast um um and i had not realized that my social work would become so tenfold um so i i don't think that i uh, regret you know having you know gone back to a career or something because um there there are so many other people who Uh, been helped through my pa- platform um and who are raising a uh, better educated and aware families through the snp platform and as opposed to self care aisha i think that's a very individual uh, uh you know need and requirement um after my third born came along i have every day made it a point that i have me time it is so so important for me 
to be able to um, you know recuperate re-energize and revitalize my own self so that i'm a better parent or i'm a better mother you know um there are times when i'm screaming there are times when i'm like yelling and uh, but that is the frustration build up and that happens in every household so there is no there's no facade happening right ye hota hai ye sabke gharon mein hota hai but to be able to take care of your own needs is very important to be able to look good to be able to dress up to be able to wear nice things it's you have to make the effort for your own self yes and what are your favorite me time questions is, what is your favorite me time and are you able to get any uh, me time under quarantine yeah uh between uh, 9 and uh, between 9 and i i would say 11 um i just plump myself on the couch and i i don't move if I, unless and until i have to be moved where are the kids um, at 9 to 11 they're around they're around uh, these days though they're around usually the kids are bed at, in bed at 8:30 but uh, these days uh, everybody is for themselves i kehti hu it's a battlefield and you're all in it for your own self so everybody is taking care of each other right now okay great well thank you so much rabia it was so good to have you online and i've always loved like i've kept in touch with alia story over the years it's always so lovely to see how well she's mashallah doing thank you for joining us and for teaching me how to do people at the same time thank you so much aisha and i hope uh, you guys are safe uh, in lahore and keeping uh, take care of i think like more of a battleground for corona but yes so far lahore has i feel i think they took steps early enough so far finger crossed we okay well we hope we hope that everybody stays safe yes. and stays sane yes. yes so thank you so much thank you for having us thank you i take care for <laughs> you no and i would i would actually tell all your uh, mums who are on your uh, platform you know i've had a lot of mums who you've connected me with um who've needed help so please 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 don't hesitate to reach out for help join the the special needs pakistan platform on facebook or reach out to your personal private community uh, if there's a group there but do get help because you it does wonders absolutely thank you thank you so much aisha thank you bye will you share this one